what's up guys and gals, my name is Rick 9G, welcome to another fact or fiction episode of I Love Lucy. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of pregnancy. Was the word pregnancy really not allowed? Was it prohibited from the I Love Lucy show? Well, we're going to look at this specifically and look at why it could have been a problem for the show itself. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to look at the other videos that I posted on I Love Lucy, but also the three stooges, my gaming section, as well as my aviation section. Let's get right to it, guys and gals. The story begins with Jess Oppenheimer, who was basically the creative force behind I Love Lucy, as well as my favorite husband. He says, one day Desi walked me off into the set so we could be alone. He could see that whatever the news was, it could only be bad. Swallowing hard, Desi said, we came from the doctor, Lucy's going to have a baby. Now remember, this was season two of I Love Lucy. The first season had been a success and they were looking to change a few things on the show. So with this, Oppenheimer responded, congratulations, this is wonderful. It's just what we need to give excitement in our second season. Lucy Ricardo will have a baby too. Never before had a pregnant actress portrayed a pregnant woman on television. This was of course history. Now don't forget that the unaired pilot of I Love Lucy featured a pregnant Lucille Ball. However, in the story, she was not pregnant. She was pregnant with Lucy Arnaz Jr. or Lucy Luckinbill. Now CBS, upon hearing the news of Lucille Ball being pregnant, they didn't like the idea. They had every intention of keeping I Love Lucy right where it was. Lucy was always trying to get into show business. But when Lucille Ball announced that she was gonna have a baby, all that would go out the window. It was a disaster for them. At this time, Philip Morris was the main sponsor of the show I Love Lucy. The head honchos told Desi to consider one or two shows about Lucy's pregnancy, but no more. They advised them to hide Lucy behind chairs and not feature her at all during the pregnancy period. However, because of negotiations with Desi, Philip Morris relinquished creative rights. In other words, during this time of the pregnancy episodes, they would not have much input into the stories and the scripts. Jess Oppenheimer, Bob Carroll Jr., and Madeline Pugh Davis came in and wrote the baby shows. The first quote-unquote pregnancy episode was scheduled for filming on Friday, October 3rd. It was titled, Lucy is on Sant. Now, on Sant is a French word meaning pregnant. Notice that the episode was not called, Lucy is pregnant. The night before filming, they had a special dress rehearsal given for three religious leaders, Monsignor Joseph Devlin, head of the Catholic Legion of Decency, Rabbi Alfred Wolf of the Wilshire Temple, and the Reverend Clifton Moore of the Hollywood Presbyterian Church. The scripts were provided in advance so that they could read them. They watched the performances with anticipation. When they were asked for their opinions, was there anything objectionable? The three men said in unison, what's questionable about having a baby? Needless to say, all three religious leaders gave the scripts their blessing. They thought it was wonderful and then it should be put on TV. Every single one of the following scripts having to do with the baby series was forwarded to these three men and interestingly enough, neither of them changed any word from the script. The only thing that everyone decided upon was that the word pregnant was a little too strong for TV. So they toned it down just a tad and used the word expecting whenever they referred to the pregnancy. And that's what we see in the episodes today. So yes, it is absolutely true that the word pregnant was not used during the I Love Lucy series and was not even allowed to be used. It was replaced by the word expecting and this made the censors happy. So this is an absolute fact, guys or gals. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Did they take this to an extreme or was this very sensible for the 1950s? I would love to hear your thoughts again. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. It does help out the channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you do want to see more. I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to check out the description for any other information that you may need regarding my social media and so forth. We'll see you all next time, guys and gals. Don't forget to always push through any problems and negativity. We all have them. But remember, time heals all. We just must be patient. We'll see you next time, guys and gals, and don't forget, be hopeful.